Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Well, today we are going to focus on a little bit of trigonometry and we are um, going to look at exercise 10C from uh, the Peer Maths 1 uh, textbook um, by Hugh, Neil and Douglas Quadling. Um, the exercise that we're looking at is question 2G and this is the following. 4 sine theta equals 5 cosine theta. And they ask us to find all the, the possible values of theta for the interval negative 180 degrees to 180 degrees. Okay, so um, the first step here would be to, to, to look at that. What do we have? What is the relationship between sine and cosine? And we know that, let me just take this um, highlight uh, figure cookie. But if we have tan theta, tan theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. So we are going to use this identity and um, to solve this particular question. Um, I want sine theta over cosine theta, so I'm going to divide by cosine theta on both sides of my equation. That would give me 4 tan theta equals 5. I don't want 4 tan theta, I only want tan theta. So I'll divide by 4 on both sides. So tan theta equals 5 over 4. Good. Now we need to just find the inverse. So tan inverse of 5 over 4 equals theta. And if I tap that into my calculator, I get 51.3 degrees. Okay, this is only one part of the root. <coughs> Um, we've got to remember what is the identities of tan. Okay, so tan, the identity is tan theta plus minus 180 degrees equals tan theta. Okay, so we've got to apply this rule for our interval. Um, we've got negative 180 to 180 degrees. So I can see that if I add 180 degrees to this, it will be not within, within the required interval. So I don't want to do that. I would use the subtraction. Um, so tan uh, theta minus 180 degrees equals tan theta. How would I solve this? Let me just move my paper up slightly. That would give me 51.3 degrees minus 180 degrees equals theta. That's theta. And if I tap that into my calculator, I get negative 128.7 degrees. Now let's state the, the answers. Then theta thus would be negative 128.7 degrees and 51.3 degrees. And that's my final answer. Good, let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next question reads, it's question 2H, and um, <laughs> here we have 2 sine theta equals 1 over sine theta. Let's look at the interval. Well, the interval stayed the same. It is negative 180 um, theta to 180 degrees. So we're looking at that um, particular interval. I do not want that sign in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply on both sides of sine theta. So I will have sine theta to sine theta equals 1. Now this can be simplified as 2 sine squared theta equals 1. I don't want 2, the 2 in front of it. So I'll divide on both sides by 2. So sine squared theta equals a half. Good. Now I can take the square root on both sides to find sine theta by itself. So square root, square root. Sorry. So sine theta equals plus or minus the square root of a half. Now we've got to split the equation to two parts. So sine theta equals positive uh, a half, square root of a half, or sine theta equals negative square root of a half okay because we have if we take the square root we know that it must be plus or minus so if i take the inverse of this one equals theta thus it would be if i tap that into my calculator i get 45 degrees 
Now let's do this side. Sine inverse of negative square root of a half equals theta. So theta, if I tap that into my calculator, I got negative 45 degrees. Okay, now let's see how do we continue here because that's only part of the rules. Um, let's remember the signed rules that we've got to use. My two signed rules is sine 180 degrees minus theta equals sine theta. And then I've got the periodic property that says sine theta plus or minus 360 degrees equals sine theta. Now, just looking at the interval between 100, negative 180 degrees and 180 degrees, I doubt it if we will actually use a lot of a periodic property, but it might be useful. So let's just keep it there and see what we what will happen. Okay. Um, so theta is 45 degrees. So if I use this identity, the first identity, I will definitely get another root. So at 180 minus 45 equals theta, so theta equals 135 degrees, if I did that calculation correctly. And um, I can see that if I add or subtract 360 degrees, I will not be within the required interval. So let's look at the, nev at the negative one. If I have 180 minus negative 45, I will get theta. And let's put that in parentheses. Theta would be the... Um, what did I get there? Sorry. Uh, 225. Okay. Good. So that's not within required interval. But if I use... Ah, so I did use, have to use my periodic property. If I use my periodic property, I will surely get a, a root within the required interval. So um, 225 minus... 360 would give me negative 135 degrees and that is within the required interval so let's list our rule our uh, um, angles for theta theta is negative 135 negative 45 45 degrees and 135 degrees and that's my final answer okay Good, so let's look at the third uh, problem that we will do for today. This is uh, problem three, um, equation three A, and here we have an identity or a, a, a cosine graph that's equal to a third, and they ask us to find all the possible roots for theta in the interval zero to 360 degrees. Okay. So first of all, I don't want to use, I don't want to work with two theta. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to move to a beta world. So I'm going to say, let two theta equals beta. If I change it to a beta world, my interval have to change to beta world as well. So beta will be here and I have to multiply the theta with two. So zero times two is still going to be zero. And 2 times 30, 360 would give me 720 degrees. So now my equation cosine beta equals one third is um, I have an interval to work with that. Okay, so we'll quickly do the problem. Just take the inverse of it. So cosine inverse of a third equals beta. And if I do the calculation on my calculator, I got 70.5 degrees correct to um, uh, one decimal place. Okay, so the rules for cosine, there's two basic rules that we've got to remember. Cosine theta equals cosine negative theta. That's my number one rule. My number two rule is cosine theta plus or minus 360 degrees equals cosine theta. Okay, so two rules that we've got to apply. Um, now let's look. So I, I know that thus beta must also be negative 70.5 degrees. 
Well, at the moment, it's not within the required interval, but we might be using this to find other roots. So I'm not going to disregard it. Okay. Now, the second rule is to use my periodic property and add 360 degrees to it. We can look at that. Um, I've got a, I've got a um, angle up to 720, so I can definitely add 360 to this one. So 70.5 degrees plus 360 degrees will also give me a beta. So my beta there, if I do the calculation, would be 430.5 degrees. Now, if I add another 360 to it, it would be with, um, not within the required interval. So I'm not going to do that. <coughs> so I, I can look at the negative. So negative 70.5 degrees plus 360 degrees will give me a beta. And if I do the calculation, I will get 289.5 degrees. Okay. I can see that I, I can add another 360 to that. So a 289.5 degrees plus 360 will also give me beta. And if I do the calculation, beta will be 649.5 degrees. Okay, so I've got several betas to work with. Let's look at that. This beta is within my required interval for beta. The negative 70.5 is not within the required interval. So not in interval. This one will be part of my interval. Um, 289 will be part of my interval. That would be part of my interval. But this is not the final answer because we started off our, our equation with uh, in the theater world. So I cannot answer my question in beta. I've got to go back to be to theater. So we know that we've set beta. We said, um, but beta equals to theater. Okay. So now I've got to substitute it or actually work it out. I'm just going to go to the next page. Um, two theta equals 70.5. Two theta equals uh, 289.5. Two theta equals 430.5. And two theta equals um, 649.5. Thus, theta there would be, if I do quickly do that, um, uh, 35.25 or 35.3. Um, theta will be 144.7. Theta would be 215.3. And theta would be 3. To 4.7 degrees okay this one we can round up to three degrees so let's just list it or we can underline it and that would be part of our answer so thus our answer would be 35.3 degrees 144.7 degrees 215.3 degrees and 324.7 degrees okay and that's all for today and that's the conclusion of um, these few problems. I hope you found this beneficial and I'll see you tomorrow.